Hello everyone, welcome. In this video we are going to showcase a very well done multiplayer compatible version of the advanced locomotion system plugin. So first off, just very briefly for those who are unfamiliar with the advanced locomotion system or ALS for short, ALS is essentially a smart, robust, and flexible locomotion animation layering system. It consists of many intricate and highly complex animation features without the use of root motion and those features can serve as a fundamental baseline for even more complicated animation so typically people will build off of this plugin after getting a good understanding of the underlying mechanics behind ALS and the advanced locomotion system has been very popular among the Unreal Engine community and still is because of how much effort the original creator Longmire Locomotion put into making such a high quality animation package while keeping it free on the Unreal Engine marketplace now there are plenty of videos already covering the advanced locomotion system so you may be asking what is the point of this video in particular according to the description of the original advanced locomotion system plugin als is not intended for multiplayer also the original creator has said that he will not be releasing a new version of als on the marketplace so as a result the community has been working collectively and actively updating and maintaining the latest version of als Lastly, the original advanced locomotion system was done in all blueprints, so no C++ code was used at all to make ALS, which according to the creator himself, this has caused him to run into some technical limitations, and this makes sense as not everything in Unreal Engine is exposed to blueprints. With everything just mentioned taken into consideration, the point of this video is to just simply inform those who may not be familiar with the current status of ALS and spread awareness about a growingly popular community maintained open source version of ALS that has C++ code and other changes added on top of the original plugin for fixing bugs, adding replication support, optimizing ALS for production, and etc. There are some other community maintained open source versions of ALS, some done in only blueprints, that also provide replication support, but I have not had the chance to test those out. However, I will still link those in the description with the version that I am using in this video. All right, let's actually get started. So at the time of filming this video, we are going to be covering how to add the ALS community plugin that was created by the GitHub user D. Yanni Koglu to an existing Unreal Engine project. Be sure to open this GitHub page in the web browser of your choice. Again, link to this page will be in the description below. First, I just want to point out that if you plan on modifying some of the core functionality of the plugin, then it is recommended by the creator that you have some Unreal Engine C++ knowledge beforehand, and that you use this plugin with a C++ project, aka a project that has at least some C++ source files, regardless of whether or not it contains blueprints. So if you think that you will end up changing the plugin to better fit your project, but your project is currently implemented in only blueprints and no C++, then I would recommend just creating a C++ class through the Unreal Engine editor. And it doesn't matter what the class is, it can literally be anything so long as a source folder is created within your project and that your project still builds successfully afterwards. The project that I'm currently using for this video is already a C++ project, so I'm not going to create a new C++ class right now, but I just wanted to go over how to do it in case people were interested. However, if you plan on using the plugin as is and treating it as a plug and play system, then it doesn't matter whether you are using the plugin in a blueprint only project or in a C++ project. So in that scenario, you don't have to add C++ files for the sake of adding C++ files because the plugin will work in both blueprint and C++ projects. Remember, an understanding of and need to tinker with C++ is only needed for editing the major parts of the plugin. Now I'm going to close out of my project so that we can add the plugin to our project using Git. And in this video, I'm going to assume that you already have Git installed and that you are able to either run Git commands in the command prompt or through the Git bash terminal. If you do not have Git installed, then we will have links to this page where you can download and install Git as well as to an article that goes over that topic. With that said, let's go to our project's directory location in File Explorer, and if you don't already have a folder in here called Plugins, then just quickly create a new folder called Plugins with a capital P, and then open that folder, and let's open up Git Bash in here. Press Ctrl plus to zoom in a few times. Note that you can also use the command prompt and CD into this folder location instead of using Git Bash. Either approach is fine. 
Whether it's in Git Bash or in Command Prompt, very simply, we are going to clone the ALS community repository from GitHub into our project's plugins folder. So to do that, type out git space clone space, and then go back to the repository page in your web browser, click on this green code button, and copy the URL. Then go back to either Git Bash or Command Prompt, paste the link by right-clicking inside, and press Enter. Note that we will have the full command in the description below. Once we have finished cloning the repository, let's copy over the sample input mappings and the configuration settings file provided by the plugin into our Unreal Engine project. These input mappings map certain key events to specific actions in the ALS plugin's character and player controller classes. So go back to File Explorer and first open up in a text editor the default input INI file in the plugin, which will be located in the plugin's config folder. Then open up in a separate text editor window your project's default input INI file, which should be located in the overall project's config folder. Note that it doesn't matter which text editor you open the INI files in. For example, I am using Notepad for this part. And then let's add the input mappings from the plugin onto the existing mappings in the project by selecting all the text inside the plugin's default input INI file, except for the first line, copying it, going over to the bottom of the project's default input INI file, pasting the text, and saving the file after doing all of that. Now, all we have to do before using ALS in our project is build the main source module in the plugin using the Unreal Build tool. You can do this by simply going back to File Explorer, double-clicking your project's U project file, and that will prompt the Unreal Build tool to ask you for permission to hopefully build just the ALS plugin. Now, if the Unreal Build tool wants to rebuild other modules in your project in addition to ALS, then just be mindful, although very unlikely that this build can be unsuccessful because everybody's project is different. However, we are going to assume that your project compiled properly and that no changes have been made to the project since then, before you started watching this video. Therefore, with that assumption, let's click yes here and let the Unreal Build tool start doing its job. Once the Unreal Build tool is done building your project, you will know that the build succeeded if the project opened up in the Unreal Engine editor. Now, for those who have a C++ project, note that so far we have only added the plugin to our Unreal Engine project, but the plugin is still not recognized by the Visual Studio solution file. And this is especially important if you want to modify the plugin C++ code or use the plugin C++ code in your project C++ code. If you are using a Blueprint-only project, then feel free to skip this part of the video to the timestamp on the screen because your project won't have any Visual Studio Solution files. As a result, what we are about to go over will not pertain to you. So I'm going to close out of the editor and go to File Explorer again, specifically where our project's U project file is located. In here, in order for our Visual Studio Solution file to recognize the newly added ALS module, we have to regenerate the Visual Studio project files. In order to do that, right click the Unreal Engine project file and you should see an option labeled Generate Visual Studio Project Files. Now, if you don't see this option, then you have to change the default application associated with the U project files. The application should be the Unreal version selector application that is represented by the light blue Unreal Engine logo. With that said, let's go ahead and select the Generate Visual Studio Project Files option. Once the Visual Studio project files have finished generating, go ahead and open your project in Visual Studio. And once your project is open in Visual Studio, you'll see on the right side in the Solution Explorer under the Games folder and under your project name, the Plugins folder, which should now contain the ALS Community plugin along with all the source code associated with it. So now any changes you make in the ALS code will get built with the rest of the C++ code in your Unreal Engine project. To double check that everything is still working as intended, let's build the project really quickly here. So make sure that you have Development Editor selected as your solution configuration and Win64 or whatever platform you are on for the solution platform. Right click your project on the right side here and click on build. Once the project has built successfully, let's go ahead and reopen the project in the Unreal Engine editor. Okay, just to triple check that the ALS plugin has been successfully incorporated into our project, let's find the ALS plugin in the project's plugins list. So go to edit, plugins, Make sure that on the top left corner that all is selected and then in the search bar type out advanced locomotion system and you should see the ALS plugin in the search results and that it is enabled. Also, in order to see ALS plugin content in the Unreal Engine editor, close out of this window, go to the content browser, and on the bottom right corner, you should see the view options. Just click on that and enable show plugin content. And now you should be able to view 
access, open, and modify ALS plugin assets in Unreal Engine. Now, finally, let's actually test the advanced locomotion system, the animations, the UI, the player logic, and more in the editor. To do that, let's modify one of the maps in our project to use the sample game mode provided by the ALS plugin. So once you have chosen and opened the map to test with, click on where it says settings up here and select world settings. And then in the actual world settings window under where it says game mode and to the right of where it says game mode override, select the ALS game mode SP option and save your map. And before playing the game in the editor, after setting the game mode override, delete any default place character pawns in the game. I've noticed that this may interfere with the plugin sometimes and they are not necessary as the game mode will spawn a character pawn for each client by default at one of the player start objects if any exist in the map. Once you have deleted all the default place character pawns in the map, go ahead and save your map. Now let's play the game in the editor. First, I'm going to play it in standalone mode with one player. So there is no server running in the background. This is a single player simulation currently. And if you want to see the input mapping, then go ahead and press the tab key to expand the UI for the list of controls. And feel free to play around with this. It looks like everything is working okay. So I'm going to stop playing the game. And then I'm going to change the play settings to now simulate a multiplayer game by changing the net mode to play as client. And I'm going to set the number of players to a number greater than one. So just for uh, simplicity, I'm going to set it to two and then I'm going to play the game again. And the main thing that I want to show here is that the ALS community version is indeed multiplayer compatible. As you can see, there is replication support because what I do on one client is visible to the other clients. Again, feel free to play around with this on your own time. And that pretty much concludes this video. If you experience any issues while following this video or with ALS in general, then feel free to leave a comment on this video. I will try my best to answer your questions. I am actually fairly new to ALS myself, so I'm not too sure how helpful I will be. However, the GitHub repository page has sections for issues, pull requests, and discussions. So I would recommend not only that for getting further assistance, but also joining the official ALS Discord server. Link to that will be in the description below. And lastly, huge shout out to the maintainer of the repository. It does seem as though he has and still is putting a lot of time into maintaining the ALS community plugin. And I believe all of this is voluntary. He does have a donation page linked in the GitHub page. We will link to it as well in the description. If this repository has helped you out in some way, then please consider donating to him. And if you found this video useful, then please like, comment, and subscribe. Follow us on our other social media pages. Consider donating to Flopram. And thank you to our higher tier patrons at Logical Cuber, James Rabowen, Jacob Brand, Stumpy, Dwight Everhart, Mitch Small, Felix Pedersen, Mark Wetch, Jimmy Westcott, Morgan Heidemann, Elise, Bioblaze Payne, Lucas Moskin, Rick Morgan, and Solar Tricks. You guys truly help us create educational content, and most importantly, keep the content publicly available on YouTube for free for anyone to watch at any given time. With all that said, hope you have a fantastic day.